بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll try to understand about the cap map messages like previously we have discussed that the access point is going to discover the wlc and then it is going to join to that particular wlc and then it is going to build some kind of cap map tunnels now these cap map tunnels are established between the access point and the wlc and these tunnels are going to encapsulate the data which is moving between the access point and the wlc So again, these CAPTA tunnels are responsible for carrying the 802.11 related data and the client data information. So, so those are things which will be sent over this. Now, one more thing we need to understand is this CAPTA uh, uses two uh, separate tunnels. So again, this CAPTA actually consists of two separate tunnels, one for the control uh, information or control messages, and the another is for the data information or the actual data. Uh, goes over a separate tunnel so they use different ports the control messages uses udp port number 5246 and your actual data uses a different port number like udp 5247 now let's see what exactly this control messages includes now control messages includes like the access point uh, configuration like the wlc is going to configure the access point or any kind of management configuration information so this will be exchanged through these control messages and by default these messages are encrypted so which means whatever the control messages exchanged between the access point and the wlc are, are secure okay so securely the wlc is going to control the access points and those control messages are exchanged but whereas another tunnel that is your cap map data is used to uh, the cap map data tunnel uses udp port number 5247 now in this the actual data packets which are coming from the wireless client like the wireless client is sending some data to the access point and the access point is going to encapsulate and send it back to the wlc so your actual data messages or the actual data is is moving over this uh, cap app uh, data tunnel so the packets traveling from the clients to the associate access point to the wlc again now by default this data is not encrypted unless you apply some kind of encryption mechanism so your data is not encrypted by default but if you are using uh, if you want you can enable the data encryption uh, that can be enabled on the access point using some dtls uh, data protection mechanism now these are the two different messages like the cap map uses two different tunnels one for the control messages and one for the actual data uh, being sent from the client to the access point 